In Uganda, if you are a homosexual person, you're in danger. I've been arrested, I've been tortured, I've been harassed, I've been, you know, attacked. Almost every person who is LGBT in Uganda lives with that fear every day. We are gonna rape you, we are gonna kill you, we are gonna burn your life, we are gonna cut your head. You never get used with it, even though I like to tell that to myself. Because, you know, you never understand why this is happening, why there is all this hate, uh, why people target you just because you love someone that has the same gender as you. Despite working in environments where homophobia is widespread, they continue fighting with impressive resilience for every individual's right to have their own sexual orientation and gender identity. Jenny Karai and Frank Mugisha are two of the world's most courageous LGBTI plus activists and human rights defenders, awarded the Civil Rights Defender of the Year Award 2022. She works in one of Europe's most homophobic countries, a country where LGBTI plus people are stigmatized and many forced into exile. Jenny Karai is one of the founders of Alianza LGBTI and has dedicated her life to fighting for the human rights of LGBTI plus people. This is not a job for me, this is my life. And the only people that can really make a change in the country, it's us, you know. The general uh, society still has a lot of um, stigma and prejudices towards LGBTI people, so... Um, and the society is very conservative, very patriarchal, so it's, it, we, we are still uh, far from total acceptance and freedom. And uh, more than 80% of the community wants to leave the country because they don't see the possibility of living free and without discrimination. <laughs> Five thousand kilometers south, in one of Kampala's shack settlements, a dozen homosexual men and transgender people live in hiding in a shelter home, surrounded by barbed wire fences. Frank Mugisha, who heads the organization Sexual Minorities Uganda, SMUG, is being told another shocking story that bears witness to the oppression against LGBTI plus people in Uganda. So you've been arrested five times, and all the five times you've been tortured? Yes, they are claiming us that we are, a, we are gay, so they have to check us. It's terrible. If they openly reveal their sexual identity, they risk being subjected to violence and harassment. The shelters are providing a home for the LGBT persons, but now these shelters have become a big target of harassment and attack by the police. Uh, when they are raided, police also tortures them, beating them to force them to confess that they are homosexuals. Well, if you agree that you are homosexual and you agree that you have uh, been into same-sex acts, in Uganda, you'll go to prison for life. In Albania, although LGBTI plus people do not risk imprisonment for their sexual orientation, they do risk rejection by their families, losing their jobs and being denied medical care. 
Many here still see homosexuality as a dangerous Western infection from which the country must be protected. Jenny Karai was the first lesbian person in Albania to openly come out, a decision that in many ways changed her life. From that moment on, I'd never stopped doing activism. And yeah, it, it was like a cure for me. Like uh, It cured me from all that anger and darkness and pain. And it made me meet other people, so we started to build a community. Alianza is a uniting force for the LGBTI plus community in Albania. For more than 10 years, Jenny has been engaged in an intensive information and opinion building campaign to change the hearts and minds of the general public and give LGBTI plus people a voice. Ne imi se është të dekriminalizuar, për nuk shugurem asë shikundi, asë në punësim, asë në përshkolla, asë në legislacion. More than 100 LGBTI plus people rejected by their families have been given protection from violence and harassment in shelter homes that Alianza has set up together with partner organizations. And the many years of opinion building are beginning to pay off. I think we have been doing a revolution in Albania and uh, I can see it that the language people use to uh, identify us. Even me personally, when I was walking in streets, people would call me pederas. They didn't even knew what lesbian was, what gay, what trans was. And uh, we started activism from a minus zero level when people didn't even thought that we existed in the country. If you confess that you're homosexual, you get tortured by the police, tortured by the inmates, and then of course you're published in the newspapers everywhere. My colleague who I used to work with every day was published in the newspapers and the newspaper said, kill them, kill him, and he was killed. He was killed at his house. So the newspapers are so dangerous. When they put people's faces and pictures, it becomes so bad. Much of the daily work Frank and his colleagues do consists of providing legal assistance to those affected by violence and harassment. SMUG also serves as an umbrella for 18 different organizations that together drive the fight for LGBTI plus rights in the country. And despite an often difficult situation for LGBTI plus people in both Uganda and Albania, they bear an unshakable hope for change by the fact that I can be able to help people who need my help, people who are getting evicted, people who are in prison, people who are getting beaten, and I can provide them with treatment and take them to the hospitals, and then you know get people out of prison, get people out of places where they're being harmed to safer places. That work gives me a lot of hope and keeps me going every day. Uh, I see a bright future because I see the young generation that is becoming very active, that uh, really wants to change things for themselves, that are involved in the movement, that are enriching the movement. And they are very courageous, much more than my generation. And they are going to be a transformative force, not only for themselves, but they are going to transform the whole society.